Good morning everyone. I hope you are staying home and staying safe with your parents. Today we are going to start with the first chapter, Evolution of Computer. It will help you understand how the first computer was developed and how it progressed into something that you use today. So when we say computer, it means to compute or to calculate. Now the question might come to your mind, what was the first calculating device? So uh, before we jump into all the calculating device or the computer, let's have a look at the early computing calculating devices. Now this is the Abacus which was developed 500 years ago and it was developed in China. So it was no not supposed to be used like that you just have to move the beads up and down and do the calculations addition subtraction etc etc okay now you might think then what came after abacus so let's see the next device which is napier's bones okay this was uh, used for a little difficult calculations you know maybe an advanced device as compared to abacus it was developed by sir john napier it was developed in 1616 now you might think what came after Napier's bones what was the next device so this is a Pascaline which was developed by Blaise Pascal in 1642 and it had dials so we will see how it works now the by dials you might remember how you had the dial on the old landline to rotate and dial the numbers just like that you have the dials here so we have five numbers on the top so it can do calculations up to 99,999 okay we will see an example here first we will take the number 640 so there's the number now if you want to add 20 to it we will rotate the tens dial the second from right we will rotate it twice so it will add 20 and it will give you the answer 660 now if you want to add 60 to it you will rotate the tens dial again six times that will give you the answer 720 and as you can see it automatically rotated the hundreds dial and made it seven so the answer is 720 that's how it works okay uh, you might be thinking this is still not the computer that we use so what came after pascaline now let's have a look at the device which is difference engine the difference engine was the first automatic programmed calculating machine and it was developed by Charles Babbage in 1822 so this was a mechanical digital computer and uh, also it was again uh, you know because it was mechanical and it was automatic it was kind of start for the modern computer so you can see that there are levers which you can rotate and give input to the machine and then it works on it with the gears on the bottom it rotates the gears rotates the numbers on the gears and then gives you the output of your calculations so this is how the difference engine worked now the difference engine was also uh, you know advanced into analytical engine which was also made by Charles Babbage and this was a stepping stone towards the modern computer so this was much better than the difference engine and that is the reason why we call Charles Babbage as the father of modern computers so moving ahead we will have a look at one more device before we jump into the electronic computers that device is called the census machine so this is how a census machine looks like and it was developed by Herman Hollerith it was developed in the year 1889 all right and it was built for US government to count the population to take the census of people in that country okay it used punched cards which means the paper which had some numbers on it and it had holes on it on particular locations for the computer or the machine to read so these are the papers that were stacked together and then you put them in the machine one by one so that it can read and give you the output or the count of the people okay so you think this is still not what you see today that is the modern computer so let's see what's the next device that came okay now the next device it is the Atanasoff Berry computer 
which is a combination of two names so uh, it was developed by Atanasoff and Berry it was a modern computer in terms of uh, first electrical machine so it was an electronic electrical machine computer built by John V. Atanasoff and Clifford Berry together okay that is why it is called ABC now the next one if you have a look at it it will just blow your mind because let's have a look at the Harvard Mark 1 computer in the picture you can see uh, this is the Harvard Mark 1 computer also known as the IBM uh, very old company for making computers it was developed by Howard Aiken in the year 1944 and it was as big as a room as you can see in the picture so definitely it was very big to be accommodated in the house moving on to the next one we have ENIAC and UNIVAC these are the two devices developed almost side by side and this is the ENIAC developed in 1945 by John Moshley and his partner J. Presper Eckert both of them developed the device together they also made it better by developing UNIVAC which was the first commercial use computer so that's all for today's session with early computing devices we will have a look at generations of computer in the next session have a great day ahead